Hey everyone, this is Batsil from Together Investing Club. Let's look at our next topic in our fundamental series that is enterprise value. It is the measure of a company's total value and it looks at the entire market value rather than just the equity value. So all ownership, interest and asset claims from your debt and equity are included in it. Enterprise value can be thought of as the effective cost of buying a company or the theoretical price of a target company before a takeover premium is considered. It differs significantly from the simple market capitalization in several ways and many consider it to be the more accurate representation of a firm's value. The value of a firm's debt, for example, would need to be paid off by the buyer when taking off a company. As a result, enterprise value provides a much more accurate takeover valuation because it includes debt in its value calculation. Enterprise value can be calculated as market capitalization plus market value of debt minus cash and cash equivalents. Let's look at another example to calculate enterprise value for a company. So here we have the outstanding shares of company at 311 million. The last trading price of company on 26 March is $26.19. The market cap comes out to be outstanding shares into the share price, which is 8.15 billion. The short-term debt of this company is 452 million, while the long-term debt is 4.41 billion. So the total debt comes out to be 4.86 billion, while the cash and cash equivalents are 1.58 billion. Now the enterprise value, which is market cap plus total debt minus cash and cash equivalent comes out to be 8.15 plus 4.86 minus 1.58. That is equivalent to 11.43 billion.